Hey everybody, welcome back to another video, and today we are going to be continuing on and playing some more Hollow Knight. So in the last video, we got through the rest of the Crystal Caves, and we also got, uh, we got some more powers. We got the Crystal Dash. Uh, we upgraded our nail twice, which was actually pretty dope. Did my voice just crack? I hope it didn't. <clears throat> not going through uh, puberty or anything. I've already, as Miles said, uh, you know, I've, I've already gone through that. Alright, I'm not going through it. But, uh, yeah. In today's video, we're gonna... I don't know if we're gonna go to this next area that's... Hold on, I forgot to press my timer or my stopwatch to see how long I'm recording. But, I don't know if we're gonna go through most of this area. I don't even know if we can go through most of this area just quite yet. But, we are going to try. Uh, if you don't know what this place is, it's called Kingdom's Edge. Now, I did already grab the map for this area. And the reason being was because... I started recording, but here's the thing. I wanted to double check and make sure I was recording because I've tried to record this area before in a previous playthrough I did that it was on my other channel. And I forgot to record this complete area. This whole area I forgot to complete. Okay, so you need something that's later on in the game for that. <laughs> and I was furious because this is quite the integral part of the game. Like, a part you can't just skip over. And if you do, you're missing a lot of the game. So, yeah, I, I, uh, I really wanted to make sure that we were recording this part. Because if I did it again, it was going to be a real forehead slapper. These guys give you a good amount of geo, which is pretty nice. Oh. Everyone loves these enemies. Everyone. That's that's a universally just like disliked enemy, I feel like. I said like in way too many times in that that little statement. Dang, they just keep coming. Uh still sick. I'm recording this within a very short time span of the previous video. Alright, come on, spit. Luckily, I kill these things in two hits, so it's not that much of a big deal. A little shortcut here that we can't quite get to, since we need to unlock it a different way. Is this a secret, or is this where you find... Ooh, I don't know if we'll be, re be ready for that boss fight. That boss fight kinda kicks butt. I mean, but... Oh, right, that. But I mean, like, I'm pretty sure I'll be ready for it. After all, I've beaten basically every single boss perfect on the Pantheon of Hollowness. So, which I will show that in a video. I will show that. Not me beating them all, because I, I'd have to practice a lot at this game again, since I'm a little rusty, as you, know, you can probably see. But uh, I have. I only have a couple bosses that I haven't beat, which is sad. Absolute Radiance is, of course, one of them. Uh, I'm not going to say what kind of boss that is, since I don't want to spoil too much. I'm just going to, you know, got to realize that. But, uh, yeah. There. Alright. This is a part... Oh, I ran into that. Like, no lie, I literally just, like, face-palmed into that. At that point, I was just asking for it. Oh no, he's gonna respawn. I had the jukes, but I messed the jukes up by respawning him. Wait, did I respawn him? Dang, I can't platform for crap. Alright, I don't need to use that. I could just jump off that. Jump off him. I'm pretty sure you can use a primal aspid around here to, again, do another s little mini skip. These mini skips are quite prominent throughout the game since they, uh. Yeah, like getting up here, right? Alright, just come up here, buddy. Buddy, come over here! Thank you. I need you. Need you again. Uh, I'm gonna kill him this time, but. What can I say? that G. 
I'm just that guy, man. I'm just that guy. You get a charm here. Oh, no, we get a wanderer's journal. You get a little bench, too. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you this, man. Uh, there are in some insane skips in this game. And so, some of them are so incredibly, incredibly useful, too. Alright. Hello there. Alright, guys. <laughs> are you ready? Because, uh, we're not supposed to be fighting this boss yet. But you know what? I think I'll surprise you guys. You know, with the, with the title, the thumbnail, too. This will probably be the thumbnail, to be honest. I didn't read that. Sorry. I'm getting a little... Uh, anyway, so. Prove yourself ready to face it. I will not hold back. My needle is lethal, and I feel no sadness in a weakling's demise. Damn. Show me you can accept this kingdom's past and claim responsibility for its future. <laughs> Oh, I forgot. I forgot. This fight's annoying. Parries. Luckily, I'm so glad I upgraded my nail. I wouldn't be able to do this fight if I hadn't upgraded my nail. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It still shouldn't be that hard. I take a bit, but... Oh, yeah. Those are the ones that will get you the most. And there's no healing in this fight until you stun her. Like there. Okay, I'm pretty sure this means she's at 50% health. Okay, that's me. Alright. Heal up a little bit. Do I have to stun you? Alright, heal up twice. Okay, I thought she was dashing at me. No. There we go. Easy peasy on the squeaky. Haha! <laughs> First try, boys. Let's get it. So strong. You could do it if you had the will. But could you raise your nail once knowing its tragic conception and knowing yourself? Then do it, Ghost of Hollowness. Head onward. Burn that mark upon your shell and claim yourself as king. Alright. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're supposed to go into deepness before this. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if I'm breaking the game right now. I really hope I'm not, because... We're about to get... The King's Brand. I know I'm recording. If I'm not recording, then my PS4 has... Some sort of glitch where it's like, you're not gonna look like part five. But, uh, yeah. We, um... Okay, for a second, I thought I, I had acquired the glitch. There was this glitch I made on my, I believe it was my Instagram, where I was able to turn invisible at this part. But, uh, yeah, we did that within, like, ten minutes of the video. So, uh, <laughs> that's, that's pretty extreme. That's pretty extreme that we were able to do that, because uh, I'm going to spoil some stuff here for later on in the game. Just a little bit. Normally, to get up here, right, at all... You're supposed to get the double jump. Which we could have gotten, to be fair. But here's the problem. Now that we've gotten this, which we're not supposed to get. <laughs> let me say that. We are not supposed to get this. Since you're normally not so use, supposed to use that primal aspid to jump up there, right? You're supposed to use a double jump. However, because we cheated the system... Like boss, we were able to get up there, like here, right? Normally, you're not supposed to get up here, because as you can see, 
that's not supposed to be a possibility. However, now, if you want to, like, enjoy the game just, like, on a normal story mode, then, now do this. Oh! Dang. Alright, bud, alright. Go in here. This is a charm. Is it a charm, or is this just a boss fight? Oh, it's three of them. Okay. Nice. We got nine of these hearts now. So... Dude. Nah, y'all thought this... Y'all thought this was a normal playthrough? Nah. Oh, there. Oh, tiny thing. You climb high. Seek the knowledge of these lands. Oh, Bardoon is his name. <clears throat> this ashen place is grave of worm. Once told, it came to die. But what is death for that ancient being? More transformation, methinks. This failed kingdom is product of the being spawned from that event. Now, just a little bit of lore there. I actually don't think we were. I don't think we needed to use that primal aspid to get up here. I don't think that actually leads to anywhere. Yeah, it doesn't really look like it. <coughs> Sorry, a little bit of cough. Coughing again. I wonder. That was stupid. But hey, I thought I could do it. Okay, so yeah, we go here. We do a little more platforming. Okay, I thought I could dip in while he... Yeah. Also, it took two of my masks, which... I don't know why it took two of my masks. I had one blue mask. That seems quite unfair. It was double or triple damage. Okay, so we're gonna go in here. I believe we curve around and then up. And then we go to a very special place. That we'll make a completely different video on. Since the place we are going to unlock, which is not over here, I believe it's. Yeah, this is just a geo. You no, know I'm not gonna do the rest of that geo deposit. What I'm going to do though, because it's smart to do those geo deposits when you have the fly charm. You know what the fly charm is? It basically just spawns a ton of flies to help collect Geo for you. That Especially Geo that like falls and you're like, Oh no! There's no way I'm gonna get that! Well... There's a charm that helps you. So. Here we are! This place, I'm not gonna really do much with yet. I'm gonna go ahead and get the bench here though. So I can mark it on my map. And fill in some of the map. But yeah, we are not supposed to be here at all. Although there's a little, little place here. Little place. Go up here. There's a little, uh, little, little uh, place. Oh, there's actually a, the enemy over here is actually insanely difficult. However, there's a couple more things over here that we will collect. Pretty sure that's acid water. Oh, oh there. Oh no, it's not acid water. So we don't need to worry. This is a king's idol, from what I believe. Yes. And the enemy we have just encountered. Okay, I'm not gonna try to do that. Is actually really hard. Um, I'm gonna see if I can beat him. If I can't. Gotta be kinda silent. Uh, is it even possible to dream on this guy? This is cracked. Yeah, 
Yeah, this guy's crazy hard to kill. I can't tell, this kind of sounds like a girl bug. Over here? Yep. Alright, I figured I was gonna get hit by that. Oh, there we go. Simple key. Not much, but it's actually quite helpful. Okay, so we can't dream anymore. There's something I believe over here as well. Nope. I thought there was something over there, but I thought there was something else to this area. Maybe it's up there. Oh no, it's over here. I'm assuming it's like, yeah, you're probably gonna need all this for that fight. Okay. See, like a lot of this stuff you're not supposed to be able to do. Well, no, this I think you could just do. But, like, normally, uh, are you able to? I think. Can you normally get to the Coliseum? Uh, probably. Uh, I don't think it would be an impossibility. Okay. But as you can see, this guy... He's like, why is he here? Why does he just do me? Look, you thought you were trying to be sneaky in your little, uh, hangout zone, but nah, bro. I found you. So this place is quite important. Uh, I wonder if we'll do this next video, because this place gives us a pale ore, which is really useful. And this also gives us a shortcut. So if you don't remember, this is where the, um, spawner is. So, what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go into, not Deep Nest, but we're gonna go into that one area. Um, I forgot what it's called. Ancient Basin. You guys, uh, see it when it pops up on screen. It's the, no, it's not. And, uh, once we go to the Ancient Basin, funny enough, we can actually get one of the, um... I'm wondering... Is that what we do? Do we do that? I feel like we don't mess the game too much. Like, we don't... We don't do a ton of absurd skips. Since we already have Kingsbrand. And realistically, that's all you need to go to that one area to do. From what I remember. You need to go there to get King's get King's Brand. Alright, I'm glad I'm glad I didn't get um pwned by any of these spikes. Woo! Alright, first try. Didn't get hit. Uh over there is a dream tree. We're not gonna do those until we're like you know, until we like actually try to maximize the story of the game. Get this though. Okay, that was close. Wonder's journal. However, it's dream now, this fellow. The madness spreads. Sure does, buddy. Sure does. So, currently we do actually have everything we need, or are supposed to have, when we get here. Besides, of course, like the... That was a double whammy. Obs uh, except, of course, like the King's brand. We're not supposed to have that just quite yet. However, uh, we do. So... Now, there is a pale ore over here. We will be collecting this pale ore. Now, these guys are kind of a pain in the butt. Five hits. Um, it's just that they have quite the ranged attack. Um, 
believe there's an NPC quest line over here as well. Uh, if memory does serve correct. We just... Well, I almost made that mistake. We just have to take out these dudes. Not super hard. Although they do have what seems to be, like, a hyper-extended range. That doesn't seem like it would... Ah! If you can't tell, we have the super long nail, which is basically just... Oh yeah, so she is here. You can see that little club there. My friend, you dealt with all those beasts. I'm ashamed to say I was hiding. Those ghastly things chased me and I ran. If you hadn't come along, who knows if I'd ever survived here. Others take me for a fearsome warrior with my impressive size, but this kingdom's beasts, I wonder if I'm just no match for them. Bakusa! Enough! I cannot wallow in my weakness. I must take strength from your example. You act so confident in battle. You show no fear before your foes. I'll try my best to do the same. Cool, girl. Thus, Manuran. I look forward to our next con contact, tiny savior. Then you'll make a warrior with courage to match your own. Okay, so... From what I believe... We made the right choice, though. Because... There's realistically two options here, from what I remember. You can either meet her in a different area, and then she dies. So I think we 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 skip that possibility. Gimme that pillar. And then you can meet her in a different area. Oh thank you for that bird. Explody bird. You can meet her in a different area, which, or you can meet her in this area, where she doesn't die, and then you just have to follow her other part. Dang it! Where's this lead? Oh, I think this is with the brothers that we heard from earlier. It is! Oh, I could not do that at all. I tried to mimic the sound, but... I thought it was just not wrong with that. Okay. So if you have the tram pass, you can sit at the bench there. Um, probably should have gone here and sat at a bench first. Mm. Here you are. Ancient basin. Old caverns, these ones. Can you just feel the weight of the kingdom above? It's a heavy thing, all right. I reckon not many reached these depths. You're, we're prisoners, you and I, at least in recent history. There you go. So, I wonder... You die in two hits, right? There is no possible way to skip this, right? I feel like I've tried. I don't think you can boost off of that. I'm pretty sure that's the only part of the game that I know of. But watch this, watch this. So, normally, you unlock this after you get double jump, right? You don't know what I'm talking about. You can unlock this. Higher beings, these words for you alone. Our pure vessel has ascended. Beyond, beyond lies only the refuse and regret of its creation. We shall enter that palace no longer. Okay, so, we already have the king's brand. Meaning we can go there. However, I'm going to get the double jump first, as there's some platforming there that's kind of... Kind of difficult. Right? Not only that, but I might as well... I'm gonna try to stick to the storyline. Because <laughs> I've already... I've already got the King's Brand. So, we'll get the double jump, and instead of going to Hornet and beating her in Kingdom's Edge, we're just gonna go straight there. Uh, we should have all the charms necessary. This boss fight shouldn't be incredibly hard. If it is, then... Wait, I'm not gonna collect that yet. Little spike trap for you. For unsuspecting fellows. I might remember, can you also get up here? Okay, well, you wanna go down here first. And then, these are some pretty annoying enemies that come up. Ooh. These guys. 
these guys aren't, this one isn't annoying because he's kind of just like in an easy to hit spot. Shame. I remember the previous one, but I forgot that one. This guy's annoying. I'm not gonna try to kill him. Ones like that are easy, though. Ones like these, I don't think they're actually really meant to kill, since they're on the roof, so. Guys, a simple key. We will take that. Mine. Man's really died for a key. Wow. However. Oh, there. There's a little skip here that you can do. I'm gonna show it to you guys. <laughs> alright, guy, alright. We get it, you're a funny guy. Oh, hold on, hold on. No. No, I don't wanna get hit by those. It's a little skip you can do if you don't wanna kill him. Admittedly, yeah, it's kinda pointless. Dang, he ever hits the thing that he rarely ever hits there. I was actually about to get hit again, so I was about to get pretty wrong. Alright. Well, this is where you experience your first little bubble. He's down there, but... This is where you will probably... Ooh. Ooh. I uh, just made a weird sound there. That was me holding in a sneeze. Hopefully I don't rupture something. I have a lot of ease holding in sneezes. Alright. This guy, can we dream nail him before? Alright, you gotta stop him. You failed. You let the pro broken vessel loose. Consistent counterpart. Boy, that. And I'm still terrible at running here. You should be dang near dead by now. There we go. And as you assume, the, uh, yes, there is a... Actually, I'm not going to say that. Since you probably didn't assume. assume. <coughs> Ooh. But, um, yeah. Pretty easy fight. However, now things are going to be a lot more uh, challenging in one specific place, I'll say. It's in a couple places, but it's mainly in one place. The butterfly wings. Monarch wings. Monarch wings. Not butterfly wings. They are technically the same thing, but also not technically the same thing. So now we have acquired the double jump, which is what we were supposed to do before we got the King's Brand. However, now that we have the King's Brand, realistically, you could still just, uh, besides that first one, I'm pretty sure you could just. Hold on. Go ahead and do a, a little skip. There's nothing we're missing. Well, actually, there is a little pocket of Geo that we might miss, but... Besides that, nothing nothing too serious. Man, I'm holding in a lot of stuff. Mainly sneezes, though. Mainly sneezes. Alright. So now from here, we're going to go directly to the... Um, one area, mainly because there is a specific item. Hey. Is this where the dreamers get... I forgot. Oh, right, right, right.
All right. So, yeah, I get a little worried here because, oh, oh, oh man, get hit by you. I really don't want to collect any of those geo pockets until I get like, you know, what is it? Until I get. that one charm, which Sly sells. Because I don't want to miss a ton of Geo. It makes collecting Geo a lot easier, by the way, too, so. We could have done this part without the double jump, from what I believe. It's just that it's a lot easier to do with the double jump, as you might presume. As you can see, you can do a lot of this platforming without the double jump. Uh, we don't want to get hit by these guys, since I'm pretty sure they do double damage. That's something, that's something, something you entirely want. They're talking about, about let the darkness in. Oh no, he's actually wanting to let the darkness in. Darkness in. Yeah, I forgot about that. Dash. Wait, could we technically just... Holy moly. No, we couldn't. If you didn't know, you did, if you don't shine the light on the sea, then a ton of large tentacles come up and prevent you from passing. Uh, let's see. Yeah, no, that's impossible to get past, so what we gotta do is we gotta go around here. Pretty simple, pretty simple. There's a very special item here. This, but also something else. Now we have the Shade Cloak, which essentially is just the uh, kind of dodge roll where it's like, instead of just da dashing into enemies and getting hurt, you can dash past enemies. Although that's not all it does. Can't dream mail this guy yet. However, we can do this and collect ourselves an arcane egg, which is the rarest artifact. I believe there's only four of them. It is the rarest artifact that you can get in this game. All right. An imprint of abyss given form. Uh, again, th that usually would prompt something, but there's an item we need to collect before we can investigate all that. So now that we have this, there are a lot of things we can do now. Uh, I'm not gonna save and quit since I'm almost 100% sure there is some pretty decent dialogue from an NPC, I'll just say, once we get out of here. Oh, not really. Everything is just faster using the crystal dash. Getting up here, however, is still a pain in the butt. There's a couple... Ah, dang. There's a couple secrets that are here, but I will not be discovering them today. Tomorrow, I'll make... Another video, um, oof, gross. You know, I try my hardest not to get hit by the spikes. What happens? You get hit by the spikes. Uh, I'm gonna try my hardest not to do that again, but next video we will be going into a probably even more deadly area than this, since this, this area wasn't that dangerous. Platforming's pretty pretty dangerous, but, um, besides that, not really dangerous overall on enemies. However, the next area we'll be going is certainly more dangerous. I'm not gonna say the name of it yet, but I will assure you that it is more dangerous, so we'll be doing that tomorrow's video, and we'll also be conquering some of the 
champions. So, uh, you know, make sure oof, to like, subscribe, to, um, so I can make that tomorrow. Here we go, yep. Ghost, I see you face the place of your birth and now drape yourself in the substance of its shadow. Though our strength is born of similar source, that part of you, that crucial emptiness, I do not share. Funny, then, that such darkness gives me hope. Within it, I see the chance of change. A difficult journey you would face, but a choice it can create. Prolong our world's stasis or face the heart of its infestation. I already take that harder path, but what end may come, the decision rests with you. Okay, so what she's... It faced the void and ascended unscathed. Could it unite such vast darkness? Okay, so basically what Hornet is saying there is you can either get the easy ending or you can get the harder ending. Um, I'm not going to spoil much. If you, don't know mu if you don't know much about this game, then you probably just haven't heard of the like, Hollow Knight as a series. But um, basically what she's talking about is she's talking about getting something called... Uh, okay, it, 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 it contains a lot of spoilers, but I'll say this. What she's talking about is if you get all the dream essence and get something called the Awoken Dream Nail, which is basically just like putting all that essence you've collected into the Dream Nail, then that will eventually let you get a better ending. I'm not going to give any more specifics than that since I do not want to spoil anything, but yeah. Alright, so we'll do one more thing before ending this video off. Something very simple. Oh, many stag stations have opened. Again, I can travel the um, breadth of the kingdom. I don't know what that word means. Length, I'm assuming. So many grand thoroughfares and old sideways I'd forgotten. Somewhere amongst the lines, lines the stag st nest, the place where I was born and raised. I thought its location lost to my failing mind, but now I kind of almost remember the path. If you keep opening stag stations, I bet and beckon me through them. Perhaps I'll find the nest. Ah, I would like that very much. Okay, so something we'll do really quick is we're just gonna go to the, um, was it city storerooms? I think that's the closest one to it. So we'll go to the city storerooms, and then that one place that I was, that I started that one video off because I said that if I would, if I found a way to do it, if I found a way to, like, jump up there and do some crazy maneuvers, then I'd start a recording. Yeah, that area, uh, I couldn't get to, unfortunately, but, luckily enough, I can get to it now since I bought that elegant key. I wonder where I get the upgrade for that. I'm trying to remember. Because I know where you get the two upgrades for two of your spells. One of which we're actually about to get very close to now. Um, I'll show you. So, this is where we use the elegant key we got from Sly. If you don't remember, I was here this one of those last videos. And boom. Here's this guy. He's like a little more powerful. But only only because now he has buddies on his side. And now that we have all these cool powers, like that. Now, as you can see this guy here, let's open this first, this is a shaman. I'm gonna see if I can, uh, dream mail him. Nope. A figure connected to a device. Examine closely. This is where we get upgraded. We get the Shade Soul now. Uh, I forgot what it was called before. But now we have the Shade Soul, which... Yeah, we use the same amount of soul for it, but it's far more um, powerful. And I'm pretty sure it goes to objects, yeah, whereas the other one did not. So, that'll wrap this video up for today. Um, 
But yeah, if you guys want more Hollow Knight, just make sure to like and subscribe. As I said in the last video, I am making a full series of this, so you guys want to see it. Make sure to drop likes, comments, you know, anything you can. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.